Dennis Ben's biggest strength was that he used to stack, stack tons, and then uh, with Helm of Dominator, and then he would farm those stacks, and it would give him a huge influx of gold, and he would completely um, get out of control. By about 25, 26, you know, by about 30 minutes, he would have six items. He'd be six slotted, but that is not the case anymore. So, as of patch 7.0, Sven is in a really, really weird place. Sven has become a very situational pick. Um, but for you, for 400 MMR, it really, really doesn't matter. Um, the way you should focus on Sven is still farm priority. Um, farming should be your main priority. Uh, looks like you've got a very reasonable uh, lane here. You've got a support with you in this lane. Um, this guy, your carry troll warlord, is going to suffer a lot, but as far as you're concerned, you are going to have a very decent lane. It's almost like it's going to be a carry lane, so so all's good, all's well here. Now, your starting items I like a lot. Um, you've got plenty of HP regen, you've got a decent amount of mana regen, you've got the mango for the burst, uh, for the uh, extra stun. Uh, really, really important. So I like, I really like your starting items, actually. <clears throat> uh, don't want to miss last hits. Uh, your MMR bracket last hitting is definitely a big challenge, but that's something that is the easiest to fix. Go into arcade, go into this game called Last Hit Challenge, and honestly, uh, last, what did, that, what did I do? Last hit. Uh, the hell? Last hit, uh, last hit challenge. The hell is going on? All right, hold on. Library. What is it called? Last hit challenge. This one. Why is it not showing up? Last hit CHF. What? All right, this search bar is a bit. What? Last hit. Ah, here we go. Oh, okay, 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 I see, I see. If you, all right, there we go. Anyway, yeah, go into this game. Um, whichever hero you want to play next, like for example, when you're doing the all hero challenge, go into this last hit, uh, last hit lobby, um, <clears throat> select the uh, two and a half minute timer. By two and a half minutes, you should have 20 CS, right? So by two and a half minutes, there's 20 creeps uh, that come into the lane, right? So your last hit, uh, this number should be definitely more than 15, right? Definitely more than 15. Once you've got to 15, then go into again. Because if you can't even... So this 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 uh, this game is not going to have an enemy hero. So you really should be able to get at least 75% efficiency against no one, right? Um, so, but if you can't even get 15 last hits here, there's no way you're going to get 15 last hits or even close to 75% efficiency in the real game, right? So you really, really, this is preparation. This is more important. If you're trying to improve as a player, then you need to improve your last hitting um, against, you know, idle last hitting. Like you just missed that one last hit just now. Um, this is another last hit that you missed. Like these kind of last hits, you really should not be missing, right? Uh, if you're being contested, by your own support or by the enemy or whatever, that's fine. Then then missing last hits is, is okay. But uh, not not when you're not being contested at all. Those last hits should not you should not miss at all. Um, so it's really important that's really important to do. Your camera's got some issues. Um, uh, unfortunately I can't really help you too much as far as the camera is concerned. The best thing to do with camera movement is to go into um, go into watch tab and just pick any of these, literally any of these higher MMR games, uh, preferably not too high, but like it, it really doesn't matter. And just focus on the camera movement of heroes, like how, how of theirs, like what do they do um, as far as the camera movement is concerned, like where do they keep their camera, what are they looking at usually in the game, um, that's, that's really important. Okay, um, nice kill. Um, normally you should not have cleave at level one, but that's not something that I want to get into at this time. 
Um, it, it just it just push, pushes the lane. Like right now, you pushed out the lane. It you missed a lot of last. You missed three last hits because the lane was pushed out, and you missed last hits in general because you right clicking the creeps and the other creeps will get low and they'll die and you won't get the last hit, etc., etc. You want to hold off the skill points. Just don't level anything up until you have you get to level five and you can put three points in key. That's how you want to do it. <clears throat> And you seem to be AFK. Never mind. <clears throat> okay. Uh, you don't want to constantly be pushing out the lane because when you constantly push out the lane, then se several things happen. First off, um, you're in dangerous territory right now. Like, look, this last hit you're going to miss because you don't want to go too close to the this area because this is their side of the map. You know, it's dangerous to be on their side of the map. Yeah, you get hooked, you'll literally fall underneath the tower. So you want to stay on your side of the map. You want to stay closer to your own tower. And for those reasons, you don't want to push out the wave. So early on, don't want to push out the wave until you can start doing pulls. Uh, not a great idea. You just missed three last hits to do this maneuver. Uh, you could have just waited a little bit. Uh, Pudge even denied himself. He would have gotten this kill anyway. Uh, you should have told. Let's see what happened actually. Um, you were farming, and Rasta decided to go there. That you okay? It was literally one right click. You should have right clicked this once, gotten two CS, and then came around to doing this maneuver. All right. Other than that, it's it's fine. Completely fine. All right, pop the mango. Let's watch this again. Nice. Uh, turn around, turn around, turn around. Stun, stun, no, stun. Oh god, that's fine, that's fine, not too bad. That's good. All right. Now you're gonna complete your treads. That's great. Push on forward. Uh, I mean, there's literally so much going on, so many mistakes you're making. I really can't talk about all of these things. The biggest thing is number one is you're farming. You're not farming. You're you're not lasting. You're not taking right. You're not uh, getting lasts. Number two, you keep pushing out the wave. Number three, you're using yeah, like first you're doing this. You're going AFK. Um, you're not creep aggroing. I mean, there's just too many things you need to really like um it, it's not gonna be easy journey you know dota is a very very complicated game it takes a really long time to um learn and get used to everything so <clears throat> um you got plenty of region earlier on which was great but you're not using it you know you um you always want to have full hp right look at when okay so Okay, so right here you went low. This is like at four minutes in. You went low. This is when you should you should have eaten one of these tangos, right? So any time since four minutes, any time here you should have eaten a tango. You know, probably by now you should have eaten two tangos. And because you would have had to eat two tangos, you would have had only two more left. So you should have ferried out some more region to yourself um, because you're going to run out of HP region. And then, if that had happened, like, look at what, how much HP you had when the fight started. You had 650 HP. Out of 1,040, uh, literally had 400 less HP. A full salve's worth of less HP. You guaranteed would not have died here if you'd eaten those two tangos and had full HP and ferried out more HP to yourself and had more HP, basically. In case you're typing anything, I'm not going to be able to see... Unless you actually type on here, just FYI. Yeah, if you have any questions, just go ahead. Uh, but yeah, HP regen, really, really important. Um, so as mana regen, you didn't actually... So you went back to base, which is fantastic. I mean, uh, you went back to base because you died. Uh, and you got Sage's Mask, which is fantastic but as mana regen. But you don't really have a solid... Okay. So the problem with Sage's Mask is right now, 
you have um, where's your int? 22 int, right? You're literally getting, we can actually see how much you're getting. Uh, uh, all right, here we go. So you had 0 0.8 mana region per second. And from that Sage's mask, uh, it bumped up to 0 0.9, I believe. No, 1.4. So, uh, what? No way. Uh, something's wrong here. Zero point eight, yeah, zero point eight. Okay, zero point nine. You were at zero point nine, and after Sage's mask, you have one point four. So zero point five. Zero point five mana region you're getting, which means that at every minute you're gonna get thirty mana. Thirty mana per minute. You know, you use Stormhammer twice, you're out of mana, and it will take you. Okay, um, so you want to play rank. Um, if you want to improve, um, you have to play rank. Uh, because in unranked games and in party games, the level of skill is not the same as rank. If you want to learn uh, and improve, you have to play rank. So that you can be matched up with almost equally skilled players. Like roughly equally skilled players. Um, to be honest, uh, to be honest, if you, uh, no worries. To be honest, if you um, have been on this account for a very long time, my best advice to you before you start playing rank, uh, watch all my videos on YouTube and then uh, play like, I don't know, 20-ish games and then make a new account. Make a new account, recalibrate. I can guarantee you will get rank much, much higher. You'll recalibrate much higher uh, and then start improving from there. Start going from there. Is you're not playing at 400 MMR at the moment, clearly. Um, you belong at maybe, and this is, I think, roughly around 1.5, 1.8k, close to, close to 2, two uh, from what I've seen, um, based on my coaching experience. Uh, the, once again, the HP region issue is kicking in, you've got... That's four to roll. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean, bot match? Dyer's mid tower won't last much longer. Um... I'm not sure I understand what you're asking, to be honest. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I don't do that. Life coaching is something that I've uh, kind of shifted away from. It doesn't really help people too much. Um, replay analysis helps uh, a lot. I mean, the, all you really need is a direction. Um, right now, for example, mistakes you're making, pretty huge mistakes. Uh, the, the huge mistakes are last setting. I've already told you how to fix that. HP region, mana region, I've already told you um, that you should always have your focus on HP and mana region when you run out or when you're uh, low. Like right now, you have three tangos. That's like 300 HP. So once you go down below 300 HP, you need to know that you can't region up with Tango. So you need to um, uh, either go back to base or you need to ferry out more region or you need to ferry out a salve or you should have a, um, a HP region uh, item like uh, a, a Mask of Death, Lifesteal, whatever. Uh, so just focus on these things. And a, a mana region, like you can now have uh, clarities in the backpack. You can even at this point have a mango. You, ne you never know when you might need the mango. You're already building um, the uh, Echo Saber. So by the before, uh, until you have the Oblivion Staff, you're not going to have mana region. You're not going to have real mana region, right? Uh, with, with just uh, Sage's Mask, you had an extra 0.5 mana region, which is 30 mana per minute. 30 mana per minute is bullshit. <laughs> a, a, you, your Storm Hammer takes 140 mana. 
30 mana per minute, it'll take you five minutes to get the Stormhammer mana uh, from 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 uh, extra, you know, just from Sage's Mask, which is like really lame uh, for all that gold. You know, in, in on the other hand, if you spend 50 gold on a Clarity, you know, even if you're interrupted halfway, uh, you're still gonna get like 100 mana um, from 50 50 gold. So this is the way you should be thinking. Anyway, so far so good. You're playing really well. Um, you're getting kills, you're focusing on the right things, you're pretty high up on the uh, net worth. Uh, right now, I want you to see, I want to see you go back to base, I want you to recognize, ah, uh, okay, you're gonna die now. You had plenty of time to go back to base and now you're just gonna die. Uh, yeah, you're, you're dead. There's no way you do it. So, you had, you had time. I believe you had time. Right here. Yeah, yeah. At this point, okay, let's go back. Um, Hodge dies. First of all, you were diving. Uh, you could have de aggroed the tower by clicking on one of these creeps between your last hits. Um, <clears throat> that would have given you time, but it's fine. Uh, at this point, you need to go back to base. You need to not even eat the tangle, just run straight back to base. And you definitely had time. Even now you have time, but you decided to stay. Oh, yeah, you, you would definitely if you'd gone straight away, you would have had time. You would have you would have lived. So once again, same thing. HP region, uh, where this is a very common thing to be honest. Uh, close to your MMR. Uh, you took way too long though. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, but uh, you took way too long. You took way too long to decide to leave. Uh, you should have just decided to leave as soon as you were low. Because there's no way you're going to push the tower with your ult off and you being like 100 HP. So you should have been like, okay, there's nothing I'm going to do here. I need to just go back to base. You you didn't even need to TP. You could have just walked back to base. And then TP the way you needed to. Okay. There is a pretty major mistake you made. <clears throat> um, you saw the Pudge here, and then you went for Pudge. This is not what you want to do as a carry. This is what um, an initiator or a tank needs to do, right? You don't want to walk into danger. You should have gone in this direction. You should have gone stood around here, or maybe tried to go around while these one of these two guys initiate and look at Pudge and take the hook damage and take the rot and take the sorry alt uh, he didn't actually alt but he will okay he didn't alt but clockwork hook so you should have let one of your teammates get hooked and take all this hook damage and all that because at the end of the day you're the carry you're not the initiator you're not the tank you're not any of those things you know you need to be safe wait for a team fight to happen assess the situation, decide on who you want to go, who you want to focus on, and then do go on those people, right? So, <coughs> also it's quite unfortunate there's no wards here, but you can expect to not see any vision on your map till you get to 3k, so that's just a sad reality of your bracket. Your last hitting is, seems to have picked up quite a bit. Um, let's see what your last hits are at. You're at about 30 last hits, so I think at by 10, 10 minutes, you were around 25 last hits, which is okay. It's not too bad. Um, as I said, it's around 2K. Uh, 2K MMR people have this much, uh, around this much last hits. But keep in mind, at 10 minutes, 80 CS, uh, 80 creeps have gone into this lane, have came, um, have been in this lane. And out of 80, you've only had 25. Um, so that's just over, that's just like 30% efficiency. So you need to bump that up to around um, 31 what? 31% efficiency? 31 last hits. Uh, no, 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 this is 13 minutes. You had, at 10 minutes... Uh, 
At 10 minutes, you get 21. So it's about 25% efficiency. So 25% efficiency, you need that, you need to bump that up to um, You need to bump that up to uh, 30, uh, sorry, 60%, uh, which is somewhere around 55 CS. Let me just take this guy, and then we can continue. It's already fine. All right. Uh, let's look at this team fight. Uh, let's look at events leading up to this team fight. I think we're gonna see a very similar pattern where you're gonna look at people, you're gonna see some people, and you're gonna make your way towards them. Um, your job is to be safe, be behind your team. Like, uh, okay, clockwork, got a hook in the wrong place. So, see where you are. You are literally the front lining. You're front lining here. That's not something you want to be doing, right? Um, Taking the tower, obviously you have to hit the tower, but at this point you need to be somewhere close to this Rasta, right? You need to be close to this Rasta behind your team, behind Life Stealer maybe, um, but much further behind. Like right now you're in a very, very, very dangerous area, and you're gonna get caught out as well. Yeah, you you got caught out pretty bad. Uh, yeah, your team ended up having to fight way before they wanted to. And it's because of you, because you were way too far ahead. Like, you guys ideally wanted to take this fight around here, close to your tower. Um, on top of that, uh, on top of that, you all, for some reason, all of you went on Axe. Literally, one, two, three, four, four people. I think these are two Meepos clones, maybe five people. Uh, no, four people, one guy is dead. Your entire team is hitting the Axe. And four or five other creeps are also hitting axe. This guy is gonna spin um, twice per second, and that's 180 damage that he's gonna do uh, per spin. He literally, he literally killed all of you. Um, right? Uh, It's just insane how much damage he did. 183, 183, 183. He just did tons and tons of... He did too much damage to you guys. So, literally, you guys died to the axe spinning. And you guys, what the hell is happening here? This tree is going crazy. So, you're... First of all, you shouldn't have been here. Um, secondly... You need to, before a team fight happens, um, you need to decide, you need to think about who you want to go on, who do you want to kill first, right? Uh, you actually can't do that until you have some so form of initiation. And because you didn't go for a blink dagger first, um, which is something that I highly recommend, don't go XSA first, go blink dagger first. Treads, blink dagger, until you get to a much higher level, a much higher MMR. Because right now, you really can't, decide who to go on um, because in order to uh, have a target you need to have blink dagger and until you have uh, blink dagger you kind of have to do what you're doing right now I think you also um, got damage from the blade mail anyway so ideally in this looking at these guys you want to blink into the back line stun the storm spirit and kill the storm spirit first and then Kind of doesn't really matter what happens in the rest of the team, but either Storm Spirit or Monkey King, it doesn't matter either, either, either of these two. Um, but with Echo Saber, your options are quite limited. With Echo Saber, what you want to do is you want to stay way behind your team, let your team initiate, and then walk up to whoever is in the front and start killing them and start hitting them. Obviously, these the, the enemy team, you know, they have everything they need against Sven. You know, they've got. Uh, Axe, who is pretty decent against Sven because he can kite the hell out of you. They've got a, uh, what's his name? Clockwork, who can just trap you in cogs, who can stun you through BKB, who can just keep you locked in one place. I mean, they've got pretty nice, you know, pr pretty good 
uh, team composition against men. So when you have, when you're in a game where the enemy team counters you as a carry pretty hard, you want to look for other things. You don't want to look for team fights. You want to look for pickoffs. You want to look for split pushing. You want to look for regular pushing with your team. Um, in this particular game, because you, I don't think you guys should should have ever been five v five fighting like this. You should just you see an engagement, you just run away. Um, you guys should have been pushing. You've got a <coughs> what's his name, Rasta, pushes really really well. You see three or four enemy heroes in this lane. You guys go to a different lane. You or obviously I. I know you can't expect your team to follow you or you know have any sense at all. <laughs> uh, so they most likely they're not gonna gonna they're not gonna go with you. Um, so you need to do this on your own. You need to go and just avoid team fights. Just tell your team guys we should not fight. We should split push. We should try to get towers. We should try to get batter. Uh, we should try to pick off people. We've got a meepo. Let's get the meepo farmed. We've got a, a, a spend. Uh, life you know, we, we out carry them quite heavily so just farm just take it to you know 30 minutes plus without taking any fights we're just gonna get uh farmed more and we're gonna get a bigger advantage and then at 30 35 minutes when we fight we're all gonna have um it was the first time we uh this is the first time you're playing yeah so i mean that's unfortunate you're just in that bracket you know? <laughs> so there's not much you can do there's not much you can do at all Come in handy. But your position in team fights are uh, very, very aggressive. You need to you need to play a bit safer. You need to play a bit further back behind your team. You need to recognize you're not a tank. You're not an initiator. You're a carry. And even though you're a very manly carry, in in that you man fight people, you want to wait. Like right now, look at this move. Your team is nowhere near you. You have no form of escape at all. Zero escape, zero mobility. You know, you, you run a little bit faster, but even that is just 12% fast and your movement speed is like pretty shit. Uh, like Storm Spirit is just going to zap you, zap on you. you, you can get hooked, you can get hooked by two people, you can get called by axe. There's so many things that can happen and you're just walking around like so aggressively on the enemy side, you know, fearlessly. Even right now where you're standing, this is very dangerous. Axe jumps you right now. What are you going to do? Nothing. You're going to get stunned. Uh, not stunned. Called. And then this guy is going to jump you. And then clockwork is in position. He's going to hook you. You know, they, you're going to die. Um, even if one of them dies because they're diving the tower, you're you're definitely dead though. So, then you need to play behind the team. You need to play very silly. Look at that. You're so farming so down. That's, that's exactly that thing happened. And you died. And you died exactly what I just said. Right, yes, one or two of them is gonna. None of them died. Holy shit. Alright, so. Once again, it was your positioning that led to the demise of your team. You were here. Literally, Axe called you. He did not even know Rasta was there. I'm, I'm pretty sure he didn't have, unless they have a ward, which I highly, highly doubt. Uh, let's see what he's, he's seeing. Uh, okay, he did see he did see Rasta as well, but I'm I can guarantee one hundred percent that he jumped in for you, literally just for you. Um, and you also like you weren't expecting that. That's the other thing. You you were not expecting that because if you'd been expecting that, there is no way that you would have been standing here in the first place. And secondly, Axe is gonna jump you and call you when there is a creep wave. Uh, because if he jumps you right now, he doesn't do too much damage to you. Yes, there's follow-up there, and they will do damage to you. But this guy is, you know, he's also around your skill level. So he's not going to be thinking, oh, I should, my team is here and my team can do stuff. He's, he doesn't care about his team. He's All he's concerned about is what can he do to you. So he's going to wait for the creep wave. And once the creep wave comes, once he sees the creep wave, then he's going to jump you. Because that's when he's going to spin the most. And that's exactly what happened. And you died without doing like even 400 damage. And your team died as well because they were all caught out of position because of the savior teammate syndrome. Alright. 
All right, last couple matters. Uh, once again, your item choice, you no know mobility. Doesn't give you too much mobility. Um, Link Dagger is pretty much key, crucial on your hero. Either go Blink or go um, Lothar is the uh, Invis, what's it called? A Shadow Blade. Um, both of them do a very similar thing. They reposition you or allow you to position yourself in the perfect situation, in, in a perfect you know place so that you can uh, initiate at a time of your choosing and in a position of your choosing. And that's what you really, really need to do as a Sven. Right now, Every single team fight has been um, at the choosing of the enemy because you really can't move anywhere. And you see the clockwork once again. Once again, look at look at the positioning. Uh, you are front in the front of everything. Your team is close by, but not really that close. Like Rasta is the only one close by. Uh, let's see. Rasta is not even that close. It's going to take him three seconds to get close to do something. Uh, this guy is most likely, by the time he comes, you're going to be dead. Same goes for this guy, and Meepo isn't even here. So you're literally alone. And this guy on the enemy side, he has two people right there. And also he's got Blade Nose, so you can't hit him. So... Why is it not? Yeah, so you ended up using your ult, using your stun for your mana, and at the end of the day, you didn't actually do anything. You didn't actually get anything done. And you died. Oh, you did die? This is your... Never mind. Oh, okay. Alright. Bad play from the clockwork. This worked really, really well for you. This ended up being really well for you. And you know why this worked out for you? Because you decided not to go in for the clockwork. Literally because you decided, right here you decided, okay, this is a day. I don't, you did not see the storm. You didn't see the storm. Not sure what made you decide to get, oh, okay, blade mail. Probably the blade mail decide, uh, um, made you decide not to go in for the clockwork. Uh, if you'd gone for the clockwork, guaranteed you would have died. Clockwork would have lived. Because there were two people here and the third one was close by and your team wasn't close and you decided to go back gave your team three seconds four seconds to react and they are all coming towards you and then this clockwork decided to go in because he didn't see any of your teammates and your entire team was definitely there so your decision to move back saved you there Alright, moving on. Oh, yeah, I mean, at this point, uh, we can end the replay. Um, we're gonna pretty much see the same mistakes. But now you know... Uh, why am I looking this fast? Now you know what to do. Um, oh, oh. As a Sven, you should never ever get hooked, simply because you should be behind your team. Uh, that, you know... Hodge can't hook someone who's out of range or, you know, your team's always going to be in front of you. So, <clears throat> as a carry, these are the things that are the most important for you. Now, uh, the best thing for you to do is go uh, and I, I hope you, um, if you didn't write these point points down, no worries. I will eventually put this up on YouTube so you can uh, re-watch it and um, take those points away from this uh, this particular game so that you can practice them um, but it's really 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 important that you all the points that I talked about you practice them because that's I mean that's what the coaching session is all about 